to King Shanice Lewis, Amber Brown, and Malia Johnson as we get set for tip here in Pittsburgh. And it's an, it, it, it's an interesting matchup because Panthers trying to put their offense together, and it's a George Mason program looking for that breakthrough win. Yeah, and this could be a big win for them tonight if they steal one on the road here at Pitt. Alani Kaishid jumps against King, and the Panthers win the tip. The Panthers have the basketball. Denise Lewis gets it over to Johnson. Back to Dacianet Harris. The drive right, take a kick it open, wide open. Three, around and out. Amber Brown the rebound. And kicks it to Harris. Amber Brown already with one first offensive rebound. You'll see her on the glass all night tonight. Really good look inside. Unable to finish is King. Good pass by Lewis. Here comes George Mason's first opportunity. Riley Childs. Gets it over to Sonia Smith. Transfer from Sacred Heart. And an entry pass. Good defense by the Panthers. Trying to get it inside to Kaisha. And the Panthers able to disrupt that pass. Yeah, there's that defense that we're talking about. Panthers running Lewis at point this year more than Dacian at Harris. Which is kind of a change in her position. But probably more natural to be a scoring guard. Just a lot of scoring in her career. Good look down low. A head fake. Turn around and no basket but a foul on George Mason. Riley Childs picks up the foul. And King will go to the foul line. Some good ball, ball movement. A couple of good passes, Graham, we've seen so far down low. Yeah, definitely working the ball pretty well on offense there. Trying to Pound it inside, get their inside easy game going. First foul of the game. And a couple of missed free throws. We're still looking for the first point of the game. Sonia Smith. And a steal by Lewis. A two on one for the Panthers. Lewis with Harris. Left handed shot, no good. Tipped by Brown and controlled. By Dacianette Harris. Another opportunity here for the Panthers. The home opener for Pitt. And third road game for George Mason as Harris blows by the defender but unable to finish. Ball knocked out of bounds. We've seen opportunities for the Panthers who just haven't finished. Yeah, maybe nerves a little early on here. They're getting to the bucket and they're getting shots that they want. Just got to get them to fall here. A little trapping defense from the Panthers. Yeah, Pitt extending their pressure here, looking to maybe turn George Mason over and get their transition game going. And there's a good look down low and the finish by Ephraim. Panthers quickly the other way and Amber Brown finishes. So a couple of quick baskets after some early misses. And a foul, first of the game on the Panthers on Dacian at Harris. Yeah, this little run out here, this is where Shanice Lewis is going to be excellent for them. Just having, getting her, uh, seeing, seeing the open floor, passing the ball up to her big run on the floor. Down for George Mason. And drive, little contact, and a foul two in a row on the Panthers. That one on Shanice Lewis. Just a little movement and contact there, Brianne. Yeah, she wasn't ready for that one. She was out of position. Easy foul call for the official. How many times did you say it was an easy foul call when you were coaching? Now, come on. <laughs> As a player or coach, never. Those words <laughs> never came out of my mouth. <laughs> Sonia Smith made the first, misses the second. Rebound for Johnson for the Panthers. Comes Lewis trying to push. Amber Brown. They look to get it inside. Panthers like to score in the paint. Give and go. And kick out. Johnson open from three. Round and out no good. And rebound to George Mason. Pitt getting some really great looks here. They were going inside and out there. It's a George Mason three that rattles around and out. And jump ball is, you know, we knew Kaisho 
was good at rebounding from talking to her head coach, and we've already seen her presence in the post, the former volleyball player. Yeah, you would expect that coming over from volleyball, maybe being a dominant presence in that in that paint area. Looking to block shots and getting some offensive and defensive rebounds. So an early entry for A. Strickland for the Panthers. And shot missed and rebound to Johnson for, for Pitt. Here comes Amy Hayford who's checked into the game, the senior. Strickland. And as the Panthers now set up. 3-2 George Mason here in the first. Hayford drives and has it knocked away. Good hands by George Mason. That was a tough pass down there. She just lands on two feet. And this patient in the paint, she might have a better opportunity. And another offensive rebound. Good work down low, but a travel on Kaisha. And Nalani Kaisha has definitely been active down low. Yeah, Amber Brown is going to have her hands full with her all night tonight. Seen a couple of substitutions for each team. Gabby Hutcherson, the transfer from Ohio State, in for the Panthers. Yeah, we'll see how she does off the bench as she was starting on Monday night at Coppin State. We'll see what, what that change does for her. So it's Hutcherson, Strickland, Johnson, Hayford, and King for the Panthers. Jamison Smith, Ephraim Childs, and Kaisha for George Mason. All knocked out of bounds will be Panther basketball. 13 on the shot clock. Good defense down there by Smith. Teams are combined two for 10 so far in this first quarter. Inbound to Hutcherson. Picks out to Johnson. Johnson goes baseline, five to shoot. Hutcherson tries the three and it's good. That's what Gabby loves to do. She loves to step out. She is a big, she's long, athletic, but she loves to step outside of that three and knock it down. George Mason down 5 3, a three of their own, no good. And good secured rebound by King. Comes Hayford. She's always flash speed in her career. <laughs> the Panthers reverse it around. Oh, they got to get that matchup inside. Good head fake Mismatch. from Strickland who drives in and is fouled. So what was the matchup you saw inside? Leah 2 King, their point guard switched off, off to, to Leah 2 King, and they just missed her inside. However, Avery Strickland with a, a great drive to the middle and gets them to the paint, so you'll take it. So two free throws for Strickland, the freshman. You see the three-pointer by Hutcherson. We've seen some tight rims <laughs> early. Yeah, I don't know. Again, if it's the nerves or, or what it is, maybe they'll calm down and, and get some buckets to fall here. Second free throw is good. There they go. First home points in here's her career. The, here's that extended pressure by Pitt, that one, two, two press. And caught in it and Smart play of clanging it off the leg by Jamison. Yeah, very smart by her. Weaving through the defense is Smith, and she's blocked by King. Now down low again, and a left-handed shot by Keisha is good. And we're 6-5 Panthers. Yeah, Keisha really getting some opportunities down there. They're really getting the basketball to her in the paint. Hutchison just a, dragged her foot just a little bit. 6-5 Panthers here at the Peterson Event Center. Back to live action here at the Peterson Event Center. Taylor Jamison working through the crowd, a couple of 15 point games. And a ball knocked away by the Panthers. Taisha Exenor as the Panthers go the other way. And a ball knocked out of bounds. And we'll take a timeout here at the Peets. It's been some tight shooting. Panthers lead it, 6-5.
pair of field goals by each team here in the first quarter. It is a 6-5 lead for the Panthers. Hutcherson hit a three for Pitt. Amber Brown has a field goal as well. Ephraim and Keisha with a field goal for the Patriots. A good defense by Strickland. Ball down low. Plenty of time to shoot. As George Mason kicks it out. An aggressive defense from the Panthers. And here comes Lewis for Pitt. Yeah, Pitt in the in the gaps on defense down down there, really making it difficult on George Mason to get into the paint. Aisha Exenor. Hutcherson now with 12 on the clock. Gets it over to Lewis. Lewis back to Hutcherson. Good turnaround off the board, no good. Ball knocked around and controlled by Kaisha. And good knock away by Exenor. And as she was trying to get out of the way of Strickland, knocked it out of bounds. You see Lance White. Lance is, you know, we were talking rebuild with George Mason. Lance has been working on this rebuild, but they feel like they've got the type of team that they want right now. Yeah, absolutely. They have a ton of experience. 70% of their scoring they returned from last season. I think 75% of their rebounding as well with a couple notable transfers in Shanice Lewis, Gabby Hutcherson, that hopefully will step in and, and help them get to that next level. Yeah, from down low, ball knocked away. And another turnover for George Mason. Here come the Panthers quickly. Dacianette Harris will kick it back out to Lewis. George Mason doing a nice job in their transition defense, slowing Pitt down as Pitt is trying to get out in transition after their, their defensive stops. Panthers haven't scored in two and a half minutes. There's a three from the corner. No good. Ball knocked out of bounds off George Mason. And it will be Panther basketball off the miss by Johnson. Leah Johnson now in her second year from Columbus, Ohio. Inbound now by Lewis to Hutcherson. And her baseline shot is short and rebound, but a foul on the floor on George Mason. In fact, that foul is going to be on Ephraim. So we've seen a lot of front rims. Does that tell you anything? Brian, about nerves or anything like that? I would say almost legs for George Mason with two games this week, but but Pitt, they haven't played since Monday, but maybe it is their nerves. It's, you know, shooting percentage. Two for 11 is Pitt, and two for eight is George Mason. Slow start to this game. Harris with a deep three, no good. Johnson grabbed the rebound, but shot clock expired. And we mentioned the pit defense. There have been some opportunities for the Panthers, but George Mason has been scrappy defensively. Yeah, absolutely. They have been uh, defending well inside the paint. They are leaving some shooters out, out open on the three-point line, but they're, they're playing a little bit of gritty defense. Sonia Smith. Trying to set something up. Gets it over to Lawthorn. Amber Brown down low. Her shot will go this time. Amber Brown now two for two from the floor and four points. The Panthers lead is three. It's now been a three-minute scoring drought for the Patriots. Here, let's see if they can change that right here. Shot no good. Panthers doing a good job on the defensive glass. Now pushing it the other way. A kick out. Johnson goes behind the back. And good recovery defense from George Mason. Lewis head fake. Good pass down low to Brown and a three-point opportunity. That was not an easy pass. No, and that was set up by Amber Brown's great screen at the top of the key. Pick and roll. Biggs replace. Amber Brown dives down to the basket, and Shanice Lewis gets into the paint. 
Nice little dump down for Brown for an easy two and one. Now what's harder, that, that the pass or the catch by Brown? <laughs> right, right. I think it was uh, difficult on both ends there. And Brown makes the free throw. Brown now seven points, seven of the 11. It's 11 5 Panthers. And then here's Pitt's opportunity after they score is to get back into that pressure. In the corner, three pointers down. Sonia Smith hits the three. The first three pointer for the Patriots. And the lead cut in half. Great shot by Sonia Smith down there. Transfer from Sacred Heart really brings a lot of experience to this George Mason team. Destiny Struther has checked back in. She's looking for an opportunity for a three. A attempt to get it down low, knocked away by George Mason. Quickly the other way is Jamison, but the ball is knocked away. A scramble on the floor, controlled by the Panthers. Amber Brown quickly looking up. Johnson traveled. The Panthers have done a good job on Jamison. Coming in as the leading scorer for the Patriots. What have they done to really take her out of her game? I think they're throwing two players at her. Every time she's trying to get into the paint there, they have their help. They know she's their leading scorer, and they've been focusing on her this entire first quarter here. You see in the red pants, Vanessa Blair Lewis, the second-year head coach for the Patriots. 13 years at Bethune-Cookman. They started out not winning much at all, and by the time she left... They had won five straight conference titles, and she was conference coach of the year three years in a row, four total. Yeah, that says a lot about her and what she's bringing to George Mason. And the ball the knocked, a, knocked away as they tried to get it down low again. Seventh turnover by George Mason. Struther will attempt the three. No good. Rebound tipped and controlled by Pitt. And ball loose now with a fight on the floor. Strickland a part of that fight in the paint. Sloppy basketball right here. Love fighting, to see the hustle, though. Yeah, fighting with Riley Childs. <laughs> that's, not the, that's not the pretty part of the game right there. It's getting down and dirty, finding a way. Seven left here in the quarter. Panthers get a three opportunity in the corner from Struther. No good. And that heave off the mark by Sonia Smith. Not a ton of scoring. Competitive. Good defense here in the first quarter. Panthers lead it after one. 11-8 over George Mason. Jeff, this shooting percentage on both ends, both George Mason and Pitt. George Mason right now shooting 27% from the field and Pitt shooting 25%. And Pitt leading scorer right now is Amber Brown. With seven. Yeah, I guess both teams are probably glad their defense has kept them in the game. Whereas as their offense tries to catch up, in and out, shot by Childs and a foul on Childs as she went slamming into... Leah to King. Childs will check out. So Tammy Lothorn checks in for George Mason. George Mason, not a full court team, more of a half court defensive team. Here come the Panthers. Strickland's gotten a lot of minutes here in a row. The freshman. And good, solid, aggressive move by King down low. Panthers lead is five. And that's what associate head coach Terry Mitchell was talking about before the game. They really want to work on that inside-out game. And there you go, getting Leah 2 King inside. And drive and what an offensive foul on Keisha. Nalani Keisha picks up her first. Brown in great position there. Slides in, takes the charge. 
in that split second, you've got to know that your feet are outside of the of the arc. There's a lot going on on that play. Yeah, that restricted area now is is very helpful for the officials. Amber Brown misses down low, and Keisha grabs the rebound. Sonia Smith gets the ball back from Ephraim. She'll kick it out to Mitchell. Mitchell will drive and blocked by King. Here come the Panthers quickly. Strickland has it. Spins and is fouled. And will go to the foul line again. Hey, Strickland, the freshman from Knoxville, uh, they're calling. They called that a travel. All right. Avery thought she was getting to the free throw line there. I, as did I. So... <laughs> I have to admit, and quickly down the other way, all blocked or altered by King, and then a foul on the Panthers is the offensive rebound by Keisha. Foul on Amber Brown. Hard to argue that. Yeah, right. She just has a knack for the offensive rebound right there. It gets a little shot fake, gets both defenders up in the air. Easy call for the officials. So we've played 11 minutes and 40 seconds, and Keisha has seven rebounds. I guess that's that volleyball background for you there. And, you know, red hair. Maybe there's a Rodman <laughs> tie here. We'll go with that instead. Yeah, she rebounds like Rodman. It's, it is pretty amazing. Strickland open from three. No good. And Amber Brown fighting for that rebound, but off her hand and out of bounds. Hutcherson will check back in for King. You know, you at least love to see that by Amber Brown crashing the board. Basketball goes out of bounds, loose ball, but however, that gets Pitt to set their defense and gets them into what they want to be in. So Jamison, Lawhorn, Smith, Mitchell, and Keisha in for George Mason. Harris, Brown, Lewis, Hutcherson, and Strickland for the Panthers. 15 to shoot. Sonia Smith, oh, wide open down low. Good feed, good look, good finish by Mitchell. Miscommunication on the backside there with Pitt's players. Great find inside. To Mitchell with her first points, and the lead cut to three. You know, there are times where you think Pitt might be pulling away, and George Mason just hangs around, only down a possession. Strickland, good stop. That shot rolls around and out. Another good rebound, that one by Lawhorn. Jamison blocked by Amber Brown, but George Mason continues with the possession. Jamison, 5-6. Sonia Smith guarded by Dacianette Harris. Lobs it down low. And that shot no good. Offensive rebound put back no good. Mitchell tries again, and that one will stay in. Three chances at it. Naku Mitchell now with four. And the Patriots down a point. Lewis drives the lane. Her right-handed shot no good. And a foul on George Mason, Sonia Smith. Great take by Shanice Lewis there. She saw a wide open lane. No defense in front of her. Great take to the basket. Aislinn Malcolm into the game for the first time. She's been on this floor before, but not as a Panther. Just won a few Whitfield championships here. Local standout from Chartiers Valley High School. Seeing her first action here. She... Then get in the game on Monday night against Coppin State. See what she can do here. Yeah, she had an amazing career. 1,770 points. All-time all leader at her high school. The ball knocked away. And a lead pass for Hutcherson, but just a little too far. Good defense by George Mason's Taylor Jamison. And it's off the Panthers. And that hustle rewarded for the Patriots. Love the idea of the pass just a little too far for Pitt. 
Sonia Smith will set up the offense. Three-point lead for the Panthers. Mitchell. Ten on the clock. Lauren drives at a really nice right-handed layup. Yeah, great take there. Little action out of their Princeton, and they get exactly what they wanted. Dacianette Harris will drive. That's what she loves to do. Gets her own rebound, then goes to the floor for the loose ball. And that possession arrow. It seems like all the possession arrows have favored the Panthers so far. As players on the floor, Panthers will get the basketball up a point. Hutcherson will check out. King back in for Pitt. Bound to Harris. Harris a dribble. And her shot just a little strong, but an offensive rebound by King. And King finishes. Leah to King is tough on the boards. Sixth rebound for King, and now four points. King and Keisha are putting on a rebounding clinic. Yeah, she made an immediate impact on Monday night at Coppin State and earned her a starting spot tonight, and she's, she's doing the same thing she did Long Monday. Shot no good. Dacianette Harris just can't buy anything now. 0 for 6 since that 3 was just a little long. And you see it written all over her face. She's frustrated. As we see the shot there by Harris, but the really nice offensive rebound by King. Ball knocked away. Good defense by Hayford. Jamison probably feeling the same way. 0 for 3. She takes Aislam to the hole, and Leah Tu King is there to protect. Here comes Dacianette Harris. And three pointer in the first bucket of the career of Aislinn Malcolm. And that's what she does, Jeff. Knockdown three point shooter. Hopefully, she can get that. That'll get her rolling for tonight. Anyone who's ever gone against her knows that shot all too well. I think we both could raise our hands there. Yeah, absolutely. And the ball stolen by Dacianette Harris. It's a little bit of a lazy pass. Harris was able to intercept it, and she's going to go to the line with an opportunity to get on the scoreboard. Panthers on a little bit of a run. It's 20 to 14.
A scoring drought of two and a half minutes for George Mason as the Panthers have jumped out to a 20 to 14 lead and what's fueled Pitt eight steals by this Panthers de defense. Brand. Yeah, absolutely. They're getting they're getting it done on the defensive end now. If their defense would just lead into their transition offense or just their offense in general, they would be up by big here. Dacianette Harris gets on the board. And the biggest lead of the game at seven points for Pitt. I think that free throw is all she needed to get going. And it's now an 8-0 run for the Panthers. And those free throws get Pitt into their extended press here. So now for George Mason, who comes up with the answer. Hollis Suarez in the game for the Patriots. Good double team by Pitt. Yeah, Pitt into their zone here. Changing it up a bit on George Mason. Let's see what they can do against it. Baseline jumper no good. It was tipped by Keisha, but controlled by the Panthers. Here comes Hayford. Leah Johnson to Exenor, down to King. King's turnaround no good. Good rebound from Exenor, puts it back. What an aggressive rebound for the six-footer from Quebec. Pitt got out of that zone pretty quickly. George Mason needs an answer. Panthers, a seven-point advantage here in the second quarter. Drive, right-handed shot, no good. Rebound to Axenor off the miss by Suarez. And a pass ahead to Malcolm is picked off. Here comes Jamison looking for her first points. And Malcolm just a little too aggressive on defense. Look at this rebound. That's just a fight right there. She wanted that and she went in there and got it. You know, I, I know for Malcolm, she's heard it. You know, she knows people know about her offense, but can she handle it defensively? Maybe just a little too aggressive that time. Yeah, and I think these this experience for her in these games and the non-conference will really get her to see what ACC play is all about at the defensive end. And Malcolm gets the rebound off the good defense. And jump ball. And this time it will go to George Mason. Good defense by the Patriots and needed for the Patriots. Looking to get something going here on this 9-0 Panther run. Yeah, and their, their leading scorer, Jameson, still held scoreless halfway through the second. They need to get her going to get their offense flowing. Hazel Malcolm checks out. She's got to feel pretty good about that first opportunity in college basketball. Yeah, absolutely, especially as a shooter. You get one to go your three. first year as a freshman. That three from the corner just around and out. Nothing falling right now for the Patriots. Look down low. Exenor off the back iron, but a foul called on Mitchell. Yeah, great high-low action there from Leah to King inside. Nice pass. Lewis will come in for the Panthers. Doster for George Mason. It's a 10-point lead. Panthers a chance to build on that. Exenor two points, a couple of rebounds, and now a free throw. Giving them a little spark. Eight different Panthers have scored, which is kind of amazing. They only have 25 points. But they're getting it from a bunch of different people. Amber Brown leads with seven points for George Mason, four for Mitchell, and four for Sonia Smith. Let's go, defense. Let's go. Suarez trying to beat that trap. Good left-handed dribble. And three over to cut off that pass. Now an opportunity down low. And a three-point opportunity. 
Yeah, with Pitt's length on the defensive end, George Mason has been really handling this press pressure pretty well. 6'2 senior, Jasmine Doster will go to the line to finish the three-point play. Doster led the team in defensive rebounds last year. Had nine double-doubles. And the three-point opportunity misses. Johnson gets the rebound. Ten-point lead for the Panthers. One and a half to go here in the first half. Johnson with Lewis, Exenor, King, and Harris for the Panthers. Jamison, Doster, Smith, Suarez, and Ephraim for George Mason. Drive baseline by Lewis. Kick in the corner. Harris instead is going to drive. She'll kick. Foul on jump shot just goes out. But an offensive rebound by King. She couldn't get that to fall, but she'll go to the line. Jeff, you can't get a better look than that. Dacianette Harris gets into the paint with two feet, kicks wide up to a wide open teammate, and you just got to knock those down. And there are just some days that doesn't it feel like the rims are just unkind. And on both ends, we've seen how many rattle out or roll just out or double rim. Yeah, both, both teams here struggling to find the bottom of the net. King, four points, seven rebounds. And first free throw really shows our point. King, the junior from Washington, D.C., obviously familiar with George Mason. Makes the second free throw. First game of her career was against George Mason with eight points and seven rebounds and now a chance today here at the Peterson Event Center. Jamison looking to get something going 0 for 6 so far and she's going to launch a three, no good and a fight for the rebound down low. I tell you what, the two post players, Doster and Keisha, not only are big, they're strong. I mean, they're, they're both loads down low. That hell ball goes to the Panthers. Yeah, Pitts has had their hands full with both of them. Shanice Lewis to Strickland. Hand back off to Lewis. Strickland, she can hit that. Doesn't that time. Rebound, controlled by Doster. Chance for the last shot. And that's what Vanessa Blair Lewis wants from her team. As we count down with Sonia Smith. And the ball knocked away. Dacianette Harris looked up at the clock. Has one second. Gets it off. No good. It would have counted had it gone. Harris can't believe she didn't get a foul call. But she doesn't. Amber Brown leads the Panthers with seven points as Pitt leads at the half over George Mason, 27 to 16. 18% from three and 69% from the free throw line. I think both coaches may be their message in, in halftime was, let's put the ball in the basket, you think? <laughs> Just make it that simple. Listen, here's the ball. You wanted to go in that round orange thing. Right, if it was that easy, right? <laughs> First possession here of the third quarter. Jamison gets it down low. We've seen some good things from Keisha. Keisha just can't get the roll. And another rebound for King, her ninth. Panthers going with Harris, King, Brown, Lewis, and Johnson. Jamison, Smith, Ephraim, Childs, and Keisha for the Patriots. 10 on the shot clock. Amber Brown gets it to Johnson. Johnson likes those threes and buries one. Let's see if that can get her and Pitt going here. Leah Johnson with her second three of the season. Now Childs has it knocked away and out of bounds. Good hands. I hear coaches like you always talk discuss deflections and how important those are and it's just disrupting what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. And it just gives your team energy. Even if you aren't getting the steal, it gets your teammates hype for you and it really slows George Mason or the uh, opponent team down. 
Williams. Another block by King against Keisha, but the ball out of bounds will be George Mason basketball. How does George Mason get something going offensively? Well, I think they really need to get into the paint here and, and really get... Uh... How about a baseline jumper? <laughs> <laughs> Just put the ball in the basket, right? Well, maybe we That's needed it. to say something since so Sonia Smith knocked it down. It's been a series of droughts, but the defense has kept George Mason hanging around down by 12. Yeah, they're not going away. That's for sure. King will drive baseline, gets cut off. Corner, Lewis answers and fouled. Jamison fouls Lewis. And Shanice Lewis, an opportunity for a four-point play. George Mason's head coach is probably rolling her eyes over there. That is not what you want as a head coach. Fouling a three-point shooter is a no-no. And, you know, what's part of that, too, is she got a low pass, but it, she still was able to get into shooting motion. Right. Just close out. Make her make a tough shot. So we are checking to make sure that this is a three. Are you mentioned Vanessa Blair Lewis? It is a three. So they're huddling up right now. What would you, if you're coaching here, you've got a relatively younger, you've got a younger team. What are you saying to that team to get them inspired, but don't crush them, if you will? Yeah, right. They just have to keep this game within striking distance. They went against a couple of tough opponents this week, and Pitt is in the ACC. These are the kind of games that get you prepared for your A-10 conference, and this is getting them ready. So you want to stay positive with them and try to get them uh, sticking to what they're good at, get back out in transition. She, Coach Vanessa wanted to get them out in transition, get some easy buckets for them. 33-18 Panthers and a four-point play for the graduate student from Miami via Maryland, Shanice Lewis. Now that trap for the Panthers. Suarez in, has it. His child's with it. And the jump shot is good. A couple of points here for Sonia Smith in the second half. Aliyah Johnson, good drive into the hoop. And lays it up and in with the right hand. So George Mason getting a couple of buckets, but the Panthers answering. Biggest lead of the game is 16 points. Ball knocked away from Child. She's able to, to grab it to Mitchell. Childs drives baseline, gets cut off. A drive and an offensive foul on George Mason. That was some great rotation on Pitt's defense there. The help was there. The help, the helper was also there. She stepped in to take a charge. So Ephraim picks up the foul. And the Panthers in control. It was a Pitt lead of 11-8 after the first. And then the advantage was 16-8 in the second. And so far it's 9-4 here in the third, all for Pitt. Harris. Elbow jumper is good. First field goal for Dacianet Harris. Now you see Pitt a little bit more confident on the offensive end. Just got to hit a couple jumpers. Their confidence through the roof right now. A Panther run has opened up this game. Panthers lead it 38 to 20 over George Mason here in the third.
So the Panthers, four of four here in the third quarter. Two of two from three, and perfect also at, at the foul line. Meanwhile, George Mason is two of four, which is actually better than they shot in the first half, but it's just this Panther run, and they've kind of taken control of this game here in the third. Yeah, I think the Panthers kind of settled down in there, and they're really starting to feel themselves on offense. Drake Kennedy in the game for the first time for the Patriots with Sonia Smith, Suarez, Childs, and Keisha. There's Childs. Suarez, three. Good. Okay, Jeff, we just needed the, to get that first half out of the way. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I think Coach Blair Lewis would want us to mention how they're not scoring every time because when we do, they do it. Yeah. Lewis, three. No good. Deep rebound controlled by George Mason, Sonia Smith. George Mason down 15. Good entry pass and unable to finish but fouled is Nalani Keisha. And the foul, I believe, on Lewis. Great position inside there. When you see two shoulders from your post player, you've got to get her the basketball, and they do that, and works out well for them. And first th free throw is back iron. George Mason, one of six from the line. Keisha, two points, nine rebounds, as you see there. And the second one rolls in. So Jasmine Doster in for Keisha. A, seems a little hobbled. Yeah, and she's been playing some big minutes here tonight. Keisha Harris cross court. To Aaliyah Johnson back to Harris. Harris thought about the three. Instead will drive. And stolen by Suarez. Good defense by the Patriots. The three-pointer is down for Sonia Smith as George Mason's slowly getting back into this, cutting that 18-point lead to 11. Yeah, Sonia Smith has been solid for them tonight, really leading their offense. She's a poised point guard, and she knows when to take the shot, take those open looks. And now you see George Mason here changing up their defense as well, trying to get some offense, uh, defensive pressure full court. Strickland. Now a three-pointer for the Panthers. Malia Johnson, no good. And here comes Suarez again off the tap from Sonia Smith. And the handoff. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Trey Kennedy gets it down low and a foul, a reach in. By the Panthers, Gabby Hutcherson. You know, it, it's got to be tough. You transfer over from Ohio State, big expectations of what your game can be. And for you, your opportunity to really show what you can do. And maybe that's kind of what we're seeing from Gabby, just maybe a little too much pressure on her. Yeah, absolutely. She was a big-time recruit out of high school. and Starting her career at Ohio State, came over here to Pitt. Maybe have a little pressure on her to start the season. So hopefully she'll get herself in the right way and fit in here well here at Pitt. And I don't know what that motion was on a foul call, but there's a foul on Hutcherson. Inbound for George Mason, down 11. Body down. And an offensive foul on Childs. And she's claiming that Lewis grabbed her jersey. That's that veteran play right there. She knew she was coming into her. She saw the official. Great play by Shanice Lewis there. Hutcherson. Panthers get it over the timeline. Strickland, good bounce pass look to Exenor. And Exenor finishes and fouled. about eight seconds that looked bad for the Panthers and quickly a two-on-one the other way 
Boy, and Exidor has done a nice job of finishing around the hoop tonight. She really has. She's finding herself in great positions there. And, you know, on the on George Mason's end, you extending that pressure, you take some chances. And, you know, that one kind of bit them there. And Pitt gets a great opportunity at the basket, but then misses the M1. George Mason down 13. Three-point opportunity for Kennedy, no good. And rebound to Strickland, and she gets knocked down and a foul on the Patriots. The fourth of this quarter. Foul on Sonia Smith. No, excuse me, on Doster, her second. Avery Strickland will go to the line. 5'10", freshman from Knoxville, Tennessee. Her family's here for the game. I made the trip for this weekend. She plays tough, Jeff. She 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 is one speed, and that is that she's giving it everything she has. And, and I think they're going to be looking to her to show some big minutes and, and give some great production here this season for Pitt. And just a couple of free throws, ball knocked out of bounds. It will be George Mason basketball. Sandrine Kleska checks in for the first time this year. As Panthers using some of their depth. Suarez sees the trap coming and a foul by Kleska. Yeah, that's an easy call for the official there. Ryan with the arm bar. Just good recognition there by Suarez. Like she saw that trap and kept her dribble, didn't stop. How many times have you had players like panic and stop and then you're really in trouble? Yeah, absolutely. She played that smart. Ball tipped away, but control by Keisha and a jump ball. It will be held ball for the Panthers. That'll take us to a timeout. Pitt Panthers, a 13-point lead over George Mason here in the third. Panthers lead it by 13 here midway through the third quarter. Jeff Hathorne and Brianne O'Rourke Kelly. And we're watching a third quarter that has been unlike the first two quarters with the ball going in the hoop. We've, we've seen better execution on the offensive end. Absolutely. I don't know if they both went to get some shooting practice in at, at halftime or what happened there, but they both came out firing. 
And George Mason still in this full court pressure. Hutchison's going to throw a football pass down to Strickland. Strickland just inside the line is no good. And rebound fought for and controlled by Exenor. Hutcherson's going to drive. Strickland open from three in front of her bench. Shooter's mentality right there. She missed that first one. She did not hesitate, and she knocks it down. Strickland hits her first college three. I'll kick to the corner. Three-pointer answer. Unfortunately not there for George Mason for Jamison. Kleska has it for the Panthers. Hutcherson works it around 43-27 and a whistle down low and an offensive foul on Hutcherson. That's her third. Great kick out on that three there to Avery Strickland in the corner. And she was ready to shoot. She was ready. Sonia Smith. It's Jamison. Jamison bounces it and a foul on Kleska trying to get that steal. And Smith is still down. Looking like she's trying to catch her breath there. She says she's good, Jeff. <laughs> she put her thumb up in the air. Just like, I think you're right. I think that's exactly what happened. Maybe got the, the wind knocked out of her. Yeah. Good show of sportsmanship there by Kleska. They can't afford to lose her. She's really been a big factor for them here tonight. Yeah, there's no intent. I mean, you're just diving after a ball. You're not trying to do anything. Sonia Smith has been the best offensive weapon for... George Mason, probably the best all-around player for the Patriots today, makes the free throw for her 10th point. George Mason used a little bit of a run here to end the third. They can get right back in this. Down by 14. Still with that trap. Leska. Sit over the timeline. Plenty of time. Hutcherson travels. 11th turnover by the Panthers. Brown and King back in for the Panthers. Hutcherson. And Exenor checks out. Maybe Hayford also in. Exenor gave him a great few minutes there. So King, Hayford, Brown, Lewis, and Strickland. Jamison, Smith, Suarez, Mitchell, and Kesa. And the ball was thrown off of Lewis. And Panther basketball. The 15th turnover by the Patriots. The kick over Strickle. No try from the other side. No good. Rebound by Keisha. The 10th rebound for Keisha. Smith trying to work inside. Kick back out. Sonia Smith missed the three. Ball knocked out of bounds. Will remain with the Patriots. Keisha helped the official with that call. <laughs> More substitutions for the Panthers. Johnson and Malcolm back in. Yeah, the Panthers going with a bunch of different lineups tonight. Trying to see what's working best for them. Good look down low. Hesitation and getting a roll is Nalana Keisha. Panthers break the press. Johnson thought about a three. We'll pull it back out. A 12-point lead for the Panthers. We're approaching 240 here left in the third quarter. Peterson Event Center. Panthers 1-0. George Mason looking for a first win. Mitchell gets the steal and will lay it up and in. The lead cut to 10. Looking for those transition points. Yeah, absolutely. She just jumped out in that passing lane. It was a little bit of a lazy pass by the Panthers. Malcolm to King. Over to Johnson. 10 to shoot. 
Amber Brown. Malcolm, left hand. King, three to shoot. A runner, right-handed, did not hit rim, so a shot clock violation. It will be George Mason basketball, and now a chance to cut it to single digits. Yeah, George Mason not going away, trying to change the speed of this game. They got their pressure going, and they really have their offense rolling here. Mitchell. Six points off the bench. Smith inside the free throw line. Front rim no good. Tap to Smith. Front rim no good. And a rebound by Johnson. Leah Johnson. Well, King's got an advantage down low right now with Sonia Smith. And wants the basketball. Gets it. We'll go in. Body down. No call. Malcolm's three is no good. Ball knocked out of bounds off of Brown. And it will be George Mason basketball. Flurry of action there. Some missed opportunities for both teams. Yeah, an unfortunate series on both ends. Hand off, Jamison. Suarez, right-handed runner, no good. Oh, what a rebound. By Kaysen, a three-point opportunity using the left hand. They cannot keep her off of the glass. She is owning the boards tonight. Lance White will take a timeout as George Mason is on a 6-0 run. So what is key now, an 8-0 run for George Mason? What, what do you like about what the Patriots have done here? Well, first, their their defensive pressure has changed the speed of this game. I think Pitt, it got, they got caught on their heels down there on the offensive end, making a little bit of lazy passes here and there, and George, George Mason really taking advantage of it on the offensive end, and they have their confidence going right now. Yeah, the Panthers led by 18 here in the third. That lead has been cut to eight and a chance to cut it to seven. And Basketball is a game of runs here, and George Mason is on theirs, and Pitt called that timeout to try to put a stop in it. So Nalani Keisha scored 1,000 points, grabbed 1,300 rebounds in high school, but she goes off to Charlotte to play volleyball and enters the portal, and Vanessa Blair Lewis said an assistant came up to her and said, hey, well, I've got this player, but I don't have any game tape except for high school. And she's like, okay, it's because it's a freshman. Like, no, it's because she's a junior. And Vanessa's like, what are you doing to me? Like, we're trying <laughs> to win here. Why, why Why are we wasting time? It's like, no, you want to see this player. <laughs> it turns out that uh, Keisha's mom was one of the biggest nemesis for Blair Lewis as a player. And when they called her mom, the mom... It was saying, I know you. And Blair was like, wait, how do you know me? Like, where is this going? And then they realized that they played against each other. And it was an easy decision for Keisha. And, man, you think about the fact she's taken about four years off from basketball and is playing at this type of level. It's pretty impressive. And how she's playing. This is really incredible. And she's doing what clearly she did all of her high school career, and that is rebound the basketball. George Mason is lucky to have her. I mean, imagine you're playing volleyball and you're a setter and she goes up to spike and you're sitting there trying to dig something coming off her right arm. Yeah, I would not want to get in the way of that. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> I see how physical she is in basketball. And the free throw rolls out. And King grabs another rebound for the Panthers. It's a really cool story. Panthers up eight as we're under a minute to play here in the third. King, top of the key. Aislin Malcolm in her first college game. Brown drives in, right-handed shot, no good. Ball knocked around and controlled by the Panthers. And Brown again, able to score. And that's where Amber Brown lives. Where she's best, Jeff on the board saying on the glass and she wanted that and one down there it's getting a little physical she knows it great play by her nine points for brown as george mason wants to play for a last shot down by 10 
Sonya Smith is a good person to have a ball in her hands. Using the screen, kicks it out to Jamison. High arcing three. No good, and that'll do it here for the third quarter. It's been a frustrating game for Jamison, but George Mason found their way back into this as we head into the fourth quarter. Panthers lead it by 10. Fourth quarter here in Pittsburgh. Panthers lead at 45-35. Panthers 7 of 14 shooting. George Mason 7 of 16 shooting in the third. Pretty much an even quarter. Pitt jumped out to an 18-point lead, and Mason was able to get it down to 10. Yeah, I think Pitt owned the first half of that third quarter there. Floated then- there by Smith. No good, but... She steals it right back. Sonia Smith everywhere. She's been their key tonight. And she drives the lane. She was trying to get it down to Keisha. Ball knocked out of bounds. George Mason retains it. And Vanessa Blair Lewis was telling us how much she liked Sonia Smith and the different things they can do with her. I get it now. After seeing her in person, the ball knocked out of bounds by Dacian at Harris. Yeah, she's a great ad for this George Mason program. She was third team all NEC last year. She was on the NEC all rookie team her first year. Now her brother, Sonia's Colin, ran track and played football here at Pitt. And I know she was on Pitt's radar, but Wanted to be a little closer to her upper Marlboro, Maryland home. Smith gets the inbound. I can see why Pitt was interested. The elbow jumper is good by Smith. 13 points, leading all scores. Three in the corner by Johnson, no good. And Smith had the rebound. Johnson did a nice job of poking it away. And the possession arrow favors the Panthers. You don't see that too often there, Jeff. We're chasing down your three-point miss, but that was a heck of a play. Well, they talked a lot last year about Malia Johnson and things, and we, we didn't really see it manifest itself except in spurts. We're seeing a lot more of her game develop early this season. Of course, now a starter for the Panthers. Now has the basketball. Lewis, Brown, King, and Harris are the other Panthers on the floor. Johnson with eight to shoot. Lewis will try a three. Front rim no good. Good box out by Jamison. And now here comes George Mason. Two for one. Two on one. And an offensive foul. And for the Patriots, of all the scenarios that could have happened there, Yeah, great play by Shanice Lewis there, stepping up to take a charge because that could have been an easy two-on-one. And right before she was about to pass it, Mitchell just lost control and kind of blew that play up. It's an eight-point lead for the Panthers. Station at Harris is going to ride the lane and then a tough bounce pass caught by King. Jeff, she passed up a wide-open jumper there right there. You see her her confidence might not be there. King's going to drive but decide not to shoot and tries to kick it back out and it's knocked out of bounds by Mitchell. Seven to shoot for the Panthers. Johnson will inbound. As they find King. King fakes. Right-handed shot, no good. And who else to grab the rebound but Keisha. And trying to get it back. Just a little too much juice. Smith trying to find Keisha. Trying to reward her for her defensive efforts and just too tough of a pass for her to catch down there inside. And a missed opportunity down eight. That could have cut it to six. Yep. Now Panthers have a chance to build the lead. Harris drives in, shoots it this time, in and out, 
And a good hustle rebound. I'll say this for Taylor Jamison. She has played hard on the defensive end, even though she's struggling offensively. Yeah, she sure has. And sometimes, you know, that's where it goes off is the defensive end. You start getting frustrated and maybe not playing as hard on the defensive end. But she's still going hard. And she knows that her next shot is going to go in. That's just the confidence she has in herself out there. The next one. The next one. Exactly. Eight-point lead for the Panthers. Here, seven and a half to play in the ball game. Both teams struggling to score here early in the fourth. Harris down low, fouled, and will go to the line. The foul on Jamison. Her third. Pitt was in need of that right there. And that's tough by at Harris. Getting inside the paint, landing on two feet, being patient, going up and scoring the basketball. Childs back in for George Mason. Let's see if we see any different action on the defensive end here by Pitt after this free throw. Ephraim back in as well. The free throw is no good. Ephraim the rebound. Looking to get it to Smith. And Dacianette Harris looking to cut her off. Smith loses control but grabs it back. Harris wanted a double dribble. Ephraim. Nearly knocked away, but Suarez gets it back to Ephraim, who cuts, gets it over, and nice passing to Keisha as she finishes. A good ball work there by George Mason, but Dacianette Harris goes the other way in a quick two for Pitt. She's trying to take over this game now, Dacianette Harris. A couple of really good answers by Harris. Lead is 10. Suarez. Looking to get it to Keisha, who goes on the ground, but here comes Exenor with it. Exenor driving the middle of the lane. Her left-handed shot is blocked by Childs. What a defensive effort down there by Childs. She timed that just right. Boy. Here's Dacian at Harris earlier, just using her body a little bit to create a little space. Yeah, her outside shot's not falling, so she knows she needs to get herself into the paint, get a little bit easier buckets for herself. Start feeling good to see it going through the net. Lawhorn and Jamison back in. Just an opportunity to get Sonya Smith just a little breather before this game closes. I think that's going to be a quick one, Jeff. Strickland back in for the Panthers. Amber Brown able to work it to shield off Keisha and score and the lead back up to 12 for Pitt. That's a tough bucket by Amber Brown there. Suarez with Harris on her. Three-pointer from the side, no good. Keisha grabs the rebound and is fouled. <laughs> is, she, is she have a double-double yet or what? She is just, she is playing tonight. Well, we know she's got the rebound part of it down. <laughs> That's for sure. They cannot keep her off of the glass. You saw right there the shot from Amber Brown. Impressive in her own right. And getting a roll finally is Jamison. There she goes. There's Taylor Jamison. She hasn't given up this game. She knew something was going to fall for her. Jamison with the point. Amber Brown now over to Janice Lewis. Exenor wanted it on the block. Strickland's going to drive and kick Dacianette. Harris, three, no good. Exenor, the offensive rebound. Her right-handed shot blocked by Childs. A couple blocks this quarter. A third block by... George Mason, that goes out of bounds, blocked by Lawhorn. Yeah, George Mason is really working hard on this defensive end here. Six on the shot clock. Harris, crossover, deep shot, no good, but 
fouled. Dejanette Harris will go to the free throw line. Panther lead is where it was to start the quarter. 10 points. Both teams with three made field goals here in the fourth quarter, and the Panthers retain their 10-point lead. And George Mason had it to eight and had a couple of chances to cut it to six. He just couldn't get that next bucket. Yeah, they just can't get over the hump. And credit Pitt. I mean, Pitt is sticking in this game. You know, you thought here a couple of times they were going to extend the lead, but George Mason is just not going away. So, Nation at Harris, Panthers' leading scorer, or one of them at least, three of 12. Jameson is one of 11. It's been a struggle for them, but Amber Brown has picked it up with 11 points. Cassius picked it up with nine points, 13 rebounds, and Sonia Smith obviously with the 15 points. Yeah, you're definitely seeing different uh, production from different players here tonight, not your stars. Smith is back in the game, and free throw good by Dacianette Harris. All ACC freshman team, just the second Panther ever to be so honored, makes two free throws. Jeff, you will expect to see the basketball in her hands a lot these last four and a half minutes here. And same with Sonia Smith. The time is starting to work against George Mason. They're looking to get it inside to Keisha. They're trying to get her rolling from the top to get her inside. They just missed her. Shot clock now at six. Smith crossover from the foul line short and rebound to Amber Brown, her fourth. Quickly come the Panthers the other way. And to your point, Dacianette Harris. There she goes. Don't count her out. And here's Harris in double figures despite a tough shooting night. A drive by Childs. Right-handed shot no good, but she'll go to the foul line. As we look at Dacianette Harris. Yeah, she loves to get out and play fast in transition. That's where she's really, really good and really difficult to stop in the transition in a full court. King back in for Exenor. And some good minutes here for the freshman Strickland, 23. Is it now and forever that you've got to be pretty confident if you put a 23 on your back? <laughs> or is there a time frame where people at some point won't equate the two with... 
that being Michael Jordan's number. No, I think I think that'll that'll be forever. That'll be forever a basketball <laughs> number that you can't get away with talking about Michael Jordan. Second free throw, no good. 55-42 Panthers here just under four minutes of the fourth. Good look down low. Kings turn around. Off iron and in. Great action by Pitt to get Leah to King to that block, to that strong side block and get her an easy two inside. Seven points, 11 rebounds, four blocks for King. Jameson finds Childs. Sonia Smith is going to drive and kick it out. Three-pointer is no good. Keisha had the rebound, and what a pass by Harris. In traffic to get it ahead and an easy layup for Amber Brown. And Jeff, that's a point guard position, uh, uh, point guard play right there. As soon as she gets two, two hands on the basketball, she is looking up the court, and she finds her teammate wide open for two. And ne nearly matching the biggest lead of the game. Now it's 17 for the Panthers. Mitchell. Jameson just hasn't been able to get anything going. Just a couple of points here today. She's going to drive the lane. And her right-handed shot no good. And an offensive foul. Offensive foul, they called Jameson picks up the foul, her fourth. And what a pass that was. I mean, let alone to do that with nobody in front of you or around you. Right, that was a difficult pass. And Jeff, you wonder, uh, Taylor Jameson over there on the bench, you wonder if it would have been a different ball game if she was on her average here tonight. Marley Washington's in the game for the Panthers for the first time. And has the basketball. Over to Hayford. Panthers able to use a lot of players here today. Yeah, I think they got everyone into the game here tonight. I think tonight, so. And it wasn't like it was a 30-point game, you know. Each had some opportunities here, and a good block by Childs. And George Mason is not quitting as that shot is no good out of bounds off the rim. Yeah, Riley Childs has been pretty active on that defensive end, getting a few blocks down here in, towards the end of the fourth quarter. Leah Two King, seven points, 11 rebounds. Four blocks, a couple of st steals, and an assist. That's what you call filling the stat line there. Sonia Smith has something similar with seven rebounds and 15 points and two assists. Ball knocked away. And the Panthers are a minute 47 from being 2-0. and oh. Amy Hayford drives in no good. Fight for the rebound controlled by Suarez. George Mason's coach told us, you know, you got to learn tough lessons, and there's no cheating it. And this would be another learning opportunity for this team. It's not a conference game, an opportunity to grow before their home opener against Charleston Southern. And you know the Patriots would be glad to be home. Finally. Yeah, right. After a long week on the road. So Childs picks up the foul. Yeah, back to your point about these tough losses and tough lessons that this George Mason team has taken. It's really going to get them prepared for the A-10 conference play. For the Panthers, after today, an 11 a.m. game against Bryant that will be as loud as any game that you've ever been to. It is kids day. And whether it's a combination of the kids not having to be at school and watching basketball and maybe some sugar from the from the stands, from the concession stands, yeah. all of that will factor in to a very raucous crowd 
Yeah, that'll be a fun day for the kids, but it'll definitely give the Panthers a lot of energy and a lot of support in the stands. But they're yeah. going to need to score the basketball because that's what those kids want to see, and that's what those kids get or as loud as they can be. And then it will be loud again next Saturday for the city game as the Panthers take on Duquesne. Always a big matchup, and the pit will go to Fort Myers for a tournament over Thanksgiving. That three-pointer, I think, may have been partially tipped by King. Hayford quickly the other way will kick it out. The one thing, you know, there's still some work to do offensively for Pitt, but defensively, they've got it all there. Yeah, they really do. They can be special on the defensive end. And, you know, I think it, it, talking about ACC play, they're really going to need to hold opponents if they want to try and stay in games in ACC play. Hayford with a chance for a three-point play. The last year, or over the last 31 games, in 30 of them, the Panthers have held their opponent under 45% shooting. The only other team to do that over that span of time is South Carolina. Talk about a good comparison. I think they won the national championship. Last They're pretty year. good. <laughs> They're pretty good. Now it's just finding that consistency on the offensive end, turning that defense into offense. And you talk about the production, the offensive production that Pitt has been having. I mean, we talked about it here tonight. They've played their whole bench. They played the entire team. So I think, you know, as these games unfold, who is their go-to player? Who is their leader? And Terry Mitchell really runs the defense for Pitt. And, you know, Lance White is the head coach. Credit, blame, all seem to fall on the head coach. But Terry Mitchell does a great job recruiting, running this defense. She is a big part of what the Panthers are doing here. Nick DePitto is new to the staff. How about his head coaching gig? Three years, 58 wins, eight losses. That's Incredible. an Oakland Catholic type <laughs> number. Yeah, that's that's pretty impressive there. Chandler McCabe, Nikki Washington, Demetra Frank on the staff for George Mason. And I have no doubt. Vanessa Blair Lewis will have this program turned around at some point. It's what she does. She did it at Bethune Cookman. First NCAA tournament appearance ever for the school. In her last five years, they won 107 games. And they came from not winning much at all. So if you're a Patriots fan, give her some time because she's done it before. She also did it at her alma mater, Mount St. Mary's. The only person in that conference in the NEC to be a player and coach of the year. Yeah, pretty impressive what she brings here to George Mason. And after talking with her today, Jeff, she seems like a pretty incredible yeah. person, too. And she started coaching when she was as a head coach at 24. 24. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty incredible. So better days are ahead for... The Patriots, a good day for the Panthers. Amber Brown, 15 points, station at Harris with 12 as Pitt improves to 2-0 and on the season. Want to thank our outstanding crew who put together this game for us today. Panthers win it 63-45. For Brianne Aurora Kelly, I'm Jeff Hathorne saying good night from Pittsburgh.